Today I'm in Las Vegas and for the first time ever I'm gonna drive a Model T Tesla. I'm so excited. <laughs> what? A Model T Tesla? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a model. <laughs> Today I'm in Las Vegas and I'm gonna drive a Model 3 Tesla for the first time. I am so excited. So one of our patrons, Mark, was so generous to offer up this opportunity to check out his Tesla and I'm just really personally excited because of how automated it is and how this can make it easier for so many people with disabilities to drive a car. Let's check it out instead of keep talking about it. I'm excited. Oh, that is so cool. Now that's cool. That's a lot easier than holding keys in my shoes. Uh, yeah, so what it does is to know that you are still in command of the vehicle, even when it's an autopilot, uh, instead of needing to, to squeeze the wheel, what it wants is a certain amount of uh, resistance so that when it is normally kind of turning the wheel to follow the road, uh, if your knee is giving it a little bit of resistance, then it knows that you're here and that you're paying attention. Got it. So as long as I can provide resistance, no matter how I do it, whether it's with my knee or my foot, it will work. Yes. Nice. Okay. See, it's just I have to reach my leg around the steering wheel, but hey, I can do it. It's just a... Uh, okay. Everyone ready? Buckled in? Okay, let's go. Oh, that is so light. It feels... What an experience. It doesn't even feel like driving a car. It feels like... For one, it's so quiet, you know, and then it feels so light. Okay, cool. Now turn left onto Vista One Drive. Okay, it doesn't look like anyone's back there, so I can see, but I'm maybe just a slight bit lower. Do I manually adjust this? Or yeah, this okay. one's a manual adjustment. Got it. Okay, let's go. okay. Signal lights are the same as any other car, That's correct? correct? Okay. So I'll be doing signal lights. Make sure it's clear, it looks clear to me. Let's, let's go left. That one touch acceleration is very interesting. Huh. It's called one touch braking, is that correct? One pedal one? driving. One pedal driving, okay, mm -hmm. that's what Cool. Well, I'm not finding any drawbacks on this car other than, as we discussed at the beginning, the position of the steering wheel makes it a little more complicated to get my seatbelt on. So as long as I'm far enough back when I put the seatbelt on and then adjust the seat forward, I think that would eliminate that challenge. But that's, that's the only thing I can think of. Obviously getting used to this one pedal uh, driving is, is something that's new to me and I have to get used to that. Seems like you've got a good feel for it now. Yeah, it rides smoothly and it's great. I was hoping that I could keep my feet on the floor at all times, but in any kind of emergency, I will need to get my foot back up on the wheel right away. Action, press that down twice. Yep. Oh, wow, there it goes, an <laughs> autopilot. Now I have, like, have my foot on the accelerator and I don't need to have it on there. <laughs> cool. So we do have a stop. That's okay, but we do have a stop. Take so control for that. And you can set your cruise up and down with the buttons, the plus and minus buttons here on the screen. You can uh -huh. do it with the right uh, button on the steering wheel, uh, that you can set that uh, up and down. But the car knows what the speed limit in the area is, so when you engage it, it will want to try to select the speed uh, appropriate for the condition it's in. If you take control of the wheel, then it will leave it at the last speed that you are on. Is it still a bit of a stretch to get to the pedal there? No, Does it's it feel just, yeah, it's comfortable. It's, oh, it's just a, my sandal slipped on it a little bit. I forgot to say this before we started driving. Do not try to drive a car with your foot.
hmm. to move. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, moving my foot out. But the steering wheel is smaller, so that's what's funny is that I would think that with a smaller steering wheel it would make it easier to be able to move my foot around, but I'm wondering if it's just the positioning or what. But I feel something about, something here makes me uh, feel more restricted. That'd be a, a nice answer to get from, from Elon Musk. Wow, we made it all the way out here to Red Rock and that was definitely unforgettable. I mean, I had some trouble trusting a vehicle that was supposedly driving on its own and uh, that was a, a little bit of a weird feeling. But once I started to trust it, then I started to get a little lazy and I was a little concerned about that because I realized that I can't be so reliant on the car that I'm not being attentive to everything that I need to do to be a safe driver. So I reminded myself that, hey, I still need to be attentive and not get too relaxed. But I have to say that was a pretty incredible experience and one that I will always remember. This is not quite the autonomous car of my dreams. There are a couple things that can be worked on, I think, to make it even better. But as far as compared to any other car, it definitely is the closest there is. I'm so excited for the future though. I'm looking forward to that day when I don't have to touch anything and can just get to my destination. Wouldn't that be cool? If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe or go to patreon.com slash and subscribe.